Hey everybody, it's Matt with Everywhere Auto Repair. Today, I'm working on a 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's a crew cab. We're gonna be replacing a rear window regulator. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go in here into the door handle area, and there's this little plastic piece called an escutcheon. We're gonna take that out. And then there's a, there's a 10 mil right here. Can we see it? Can't really see it on the video. Let me bring you up there. See right there? I think it's a 10 mil. Maybe it's smaller. Now you have this little 10 mil, not a 10 mil bolt actually, because a 10 mil bolt would be too simple. You have some really small bolt that I don't have the right size socket for. So you get to watch me take it out with a set of pliers. Luckily it's not in here tight or anything. If it were in here tight, I would not be doing this. Like if I were gonna strip it out or round off the bolt, I would not be doing this. Next, you've got another escutcheon and, and this little thing. So we got some bugs here, no big deal. And it looks like we have more of these tiny bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the pliers like I did again. If you have a small enough socket, then go for it. And then here at the bottom, we've got another little bolt. Go ahead and take that out. Okay, so now that we've got all our bolts removed, we're going to come in and start to pry the, pry the whole trim panel away from the door. And I'm gonna try with my fingers at first. And then if that doesn't work, I'll come in with a screwdriver. You can use a trim tool if you have one, but I don't have one, so I'm using this. And I'm being real gentle on the metal parts so I don't scratch any paint. And then there's little clips. And it might be tough to go, but don't worry about it. You're not, you won't usually break the clips. If you do break the clips, they're not that hard to replace a lot of times. You see it all just kind of came loose at once right there and then i'm going to come over here and get this little clip loose and then whatever else there is it's kind of working and it's loose now all the from all the clips so i'll grab it on both sides and just kind of work it up and get it out of here Weather stripping. It's kind of janky. Okay. Okay, so on the back, it's really a dumb design, but the button to for this plug is on this side. So you press it right here and you pull it down. And then with, with this one, with this little cable for the door, it's just a button. It's at, this one's actually not bad. I'll show you this. For the door cable, for the door cable, you just press on that and then pull out and then slot it out of the door handle. Now you're gonna go ahead and remove these two bolts for your door handle bracket. Okay, the next step is gonna be to remove this vapor barrier. Uh, it's glued on from the factory.
Okay, so right here, we've got a couple 10 mil bolts. The manual says to tape the window up. I don't have tape. So, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna hold it by the window. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the bolts for the regulator itself out. Ooh, that thing got hot. Now on the window motor itself, there's this little plug. I'm pressing on it right here and then pulling down. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this thing all the way up. And then pull this guy out. And uh, be careful, all this stuff is really sharp. If you had like some cut resistant gloves right here, it probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Yeah, I mean, I think I even cut myself a little right there. getting hung up down there. So I just look in, guide it out. There's our old window motor and old win window regulator. Okay, so I got the window regulator slotted up in there and I'm gonna go ahead and thread these 10 mils on. Now these are delicate bolt, uh, delicate studs, so don't go crazy when you're tightening them down. Now I'm going to slot the glass down onto the regulator and put the bolts on. Put the bolts on that hold the glass to the regulator. So this one's kind of goofy because it doesn't sit all the way down into the the little the little carrier for the window. It actually is clamped by two pieces of metal with rubber wrapped around them. So I have to hold it in just the right spot in order to in order to uh, clamp the glass correctly. Now what I've done is I've plugged in the electrical connection that goes into the door so that I can check my function and make sure I have full range on my window. And I do. And for some reason on, on this one, you 
have to have this door plugged in. I thought I would be able to use the front controls, but I couldn't. I had to use the door, the door control back here. So now I've gone ahead and reapplied my vapor barrier. Uh, my glue was sticky enough to where I just stuck it right back on. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, I wouldn't worry about it too much. You could go get more glue, use a different kind of glue to put the vapor barrier back. Depending on where you live, it may or may not be super important. I live in Phoenix, I live in Phoenix Arizona. It's not very important here, but if you live in Louisiana, you might care about the vapor barrier. Now I'm taking my door handle bracket and I'm putting it back on. I'm go ahead and get these screws started and you're gonna wanna go ahead and tighten those up. Next, go ahead and put your door handle bracket back. You got these two bolts right here. Oh, now I'm gonna come in and plug in my door handle, or my, uh, plugging in my electrical, electrical connection. And it's kind of difficult because of the way that they have it angled, but it's not impossible your time if you have small small fingers then that is gonna help and it's in and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the door handle cable in okay so you see right there I slotted in that little ball into there then I pull it back and then that little piece of plastic slots up onto there and it clips on Okay, so I, I didn't film putting this back on because it just took so long and my camera is overheating. But basically, I ended up having to detach the weather trim from this, put it on the window itself, and then I came through and I, you have to line up, you have to line up your lock right here. And once your lock is lined up, you'll see that the clips will start to line up with their holes all the way around and you just start at the top and you tap it in tap it in you come around and you tap it in and then roll the window up roll the window down make sure there's no issues now we're gonna go ahead and put our bolt back in right there our bolts back in in there our bolts back in right there and then our bolt back in right there now we're gonna go ahead and put our scoochins back we have this one goes up here. Snaps right in. And this one goes in here. Angles this way first. Or I guess I'm crazy, it angles this way first with the little tab facing rearward. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty simple job. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye on the hill, guys.